how to create an alien texture or alien landscape design very quickly in Affinity Photo. Few, very few steps, a couple of layers, some patterns, gradients, and that's about it. So this design, let's just go to File and New. And I'm just going to go for 1920 by 1080. Of course, you can go for any size, but that's what I'm going with. So click Create. Then just go over here, Rectangle Tool. And just drag this down and create a rectangle, filling the entire design. Well, once you've done that, you can go over here to the Gradient Tool, select that, and simply drag from top there all the way down there. And there you've got white to black. What you can then also do is go here and ellipse tool. Hold down the shift to create a circle design, something like that. You can still manipulate it, so you can go up here, gradient tool, and you can just simply click and then move that around. I want more black than white there. So I've got that. Need to now convert it into a pixel layer. At the moment it's a shape. What you need to do then is go to layer and down here to rasterize. Now you've got a rasterize, you can now turn it into a pattern layer. So layer, and just down here, new pattern layer from selection. Just using this, this design, that circle, and then you get that. And you can resize that. Now you can also simply select this one and go down the bottom here and just delete it. So it's deleted. Now you can go to this. You could just use it as, as this, the same blending mode, just normal. But you can always try out different ones. So maybe dark and multiply, just run through them. I always think lighten looks great. Creates a weird sort of ghostly like effect. Maybe go with difference. But the one I'm gonna go with, negation. Negation's great, you get this black to white and also white to black here. And in the middle, you've got this sort of like pulses of light. So I've just got that. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna combine them. Combine this, this light and that. So layer and just go down here to merge visible. Now, I'm not gonna delete these, but you can if you want to delete these other layers. So with this pixel layer, I'm gonna distort it now. Now filters and distort and deform. Now you could, of course, make these circles a lot smaller, but for purposes of this video, so you can actually see it, I've obviously just made it them much larger, but you could really make them fairly tiny and then do exactly the same steps. So with this, now deform this. You can see then, just deform. Now, one thing that's problematic sometimes, if you've got the hand tool selected, you will not be able to use these pins. So make certain the move tool is selected or some other tool. Some, most of them work, but some just seem to not work for some weird reason. And then you can distort this design. And also one thing to avoid, just avoid the edge up here. So simply click and then just drag it. So it drags off there. You can also use similarity as well if you want. That's another one to try. Just try them out. I'm just gonna go with rigid for this case. And then you can see, distort it, and create all kinds of designs, click apply. Now you could of course finish at this point. It looks pretty good as a weird alien landscape. But also what you can do is you can turn this design into a pattern layer as well. So go up here, layer, and new pattern layer from selection. It doesn't have to be converted or anything, it's a pixel layer already. And you can then resize this. Maybe go like that. So now you do get fairly small design there. And also you can go for mirror. And, okay, resize a bit more. So you can this design, I think it's pretty alien weird landscape already, but what you can also do is go up to layer and then down to duplicate. So you can duplicate it and resize it, move it around just slightly, maybe rotate it. And also you can go to layers and you can just try them out. Just go through, I think sometimes lighting looks really great. Maybe screen, maybe go for add, lighter color always looks good, sort of got weird sort of combinations of the gradients there. Overlay, or maybe go for a difference. And again, you can still resize this. So you can always go here, just move that around, just try out different designs. Sometimes a certain angle will just be just exactly right. And you think, yes, that's what I want for my design. And you can always just select that one, that one. You can go to layer and you can go for merge selected. It will try and merge it. Doesn't always work, so merge visible. So it's all merged into one single pixel layer. And of course, you think, I don't actually want black and white. What I want is something slightly different. So what I'm gonna do, select that. Also, you can go to filters, colors, and auto levels. Sometimes creates a slightly better result. 
also layer and down here to new adjustment layer. And you can use things such as gradient map. So gradient map, default one, not particularly a favorite of mine, but still you can also sort of add others there. So just maybe go there, go with black, and you can create a really weird sort of unusual design like that. Or simply just, just remove that. You can go to layer and new adjustment layer, maybe go for recolor and then go for something like red or maybe change that to a golden yellow, just to be just this maybe gold like that, just about there. And you can, of course, modify saturation, maybe change the lightness and so on. Create all kinds of different colorful designs. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.